so this video has nothing at all to do with gardening or rabbits or anything. It has everything to do with the, I guess, growing minds. <laughs> Not even that. It's more just a mom DIY thing. Um, anyway, so I, a few weeks ago, was really kind of frustrated because I need to get a new car seat for my baby. She's outgrowing her little tiny infant car seat. And I realized I was really wanting this one particular car seat, and it was $200, but this one had been given to it. Well, we got it from a yard sale for 10 bucks, so a lot cheaper, and I was thinking I wasn't going to keep it. And then, as I got thinking about it, the $200 one versus this $10 one, I realized that the only reason why I wanted the $200 one was because it had cup holders that came out so I could wash them and get all the gunk out of it because my kids have snacks in the cup holders, they spill maybe crusty milk, it gets or milk and it gets crusty in there. So I really wanted the washable, removable cup holders and it dawned on me that I didn't want to spend $200 just to get cup holders that came out. So I came up with a solution. This is my solution. It does not look fantastic. It's definitely, um, <laughs> I guess kind of hodgepodge, <laughs> but it works. So this thing I've made for the other side, it fits and slides, fits and slides down right in there. And I can take it out and I can rinse it out. I don't know that it's dishwasher safe, um, but I know that I at least can take it out and rinse it off in the sink and wash it with dish soap. Um, but it is food safe. This material is food safe. So I'm going to show you what I used and I'm going to show you how I did it. So. I got, I got this just off of Amazon. It is silicone plastic. <laughs> and it does say it is food safe. Um, yeah, it says you can make it, use it for chocolate molds, fondant molds, um, just creating jewelry, really anything. And the reason why I knew about this stuff was two reasons. One, my father's a dentist and um, basically uses this material for alginate impressions. I don't know if it's alginate, but it's impressions. He uses this material for some impressions that he does. And then um, my mother got creative and used this material for some chocolate molds. And I thought, well, why don't I use it to make removable cup holders? So that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna show you what we need to do to make them. It's really easy. The instructions are in the box. You can get this stuff off Amazon, but I'll go ahead and show you. Okay, so um, the important part of this is that you have equal measurements. So you've got two parts. There's um, part A and part B. Part A is white, part B, B is blue. And so you wanna make sure um, that they're both equal, otherwise it might not set correctly. So I've got my scale, I have it set to grams. And I'm gonna go ahead and just take out the blue. It's like Play-Doh. <laughs> really kind of fun. Um, take out the blue and set it on there. 85.5. Oh, and that's exactly how much it was on the first cup holder that I made. Cool. So 85.5 and then I want to make sure that the white is also 85.5. Perfectly even. So now I'm going to just mix it together. Okay, so once it is uniform in color and there's no swirls of white or dark blue, you're ready to use it and you have about 15 minutes before it sets. So you've got some time, but you do want to work fairly quickly. And speaking of quickly, I forgot to clean out the cup holder, so I've got to go do that real quick before I put this in there. I'm going to just kind of flatten this out into a semi pancake <laughs> as best you can make a pancake. I'm sure if you got a rolling pin it would do lots better. 
In fact, let me go do that. and smooth and we're just gonna press it in here and if you have ever made a pie a pie crust and put the crust in there you kind of want to do the same thing just drop it in make sure it's touching the bottom and then scoot it to the sides and then start pressing it once you have it nicely pressed against the bottom and in the corners, the bottom corners, just start pressing up the sides. It's pretty forgiving. <laughs> I'll make the top look a bit better here in a little bit. Now, one thing I have realized is Maybe a regular sized water bottle won't fit in here once I put this in. But I'm okay with that because their sippy cups are those ones that are more narrow at the bottom than the top. So I think they'll be just fine. I'm going to take some off the top here and press it down in here. Get rid of some of the um, grooves down there so food doesn't get trapped in there. Um, yeah, but my main thing is I just want them to be able to have their snacks and it not get super dirty. Now I can take out <laughs> their um, little bowl. just kind of like on a pie crust just kind of mess with the sides the edges to make them look prettier I kind of wanted to lip it up and over give it a good little um, lip instead of it being I wanted the, the putty to be above the original cup holder, not below the line. there you have it it's like I said it's not like beautiful and if you are very very particular and are able to have the time to and patience to make it absolutely perfect by all means go ahead but I don't really care what it looks like as long as it's clean <laughs> so that's my thing um, I will say you don't want it super thin because it's more likely to rip so you do want it a little bit thicker. I think I would do it a little thicker than how much than how uh, what I did with this one. That, this one I think I had it like probably a little bit more than a quarter inch thick. I think I should have done it a little thicker because I had to add in some extra putty at the bottom and in the corners. But yeah, once you're fairly happy with how it looks, I'm just gonna rub that out right there. Then you just let it set and in 15 minutes time it should come out and it's it's like silicone it, it's very um, I can't think pliable is that the word yeah uh, you can squish it and bend it and best of all you can wash it yeah so and there you have it hope 
that might inspire some of you to maybe go for a slightly cheaper car seat and save you some money. This I think was like 20 something dollars. So for me, I think I spent a total of $35 to make this car seat how I wanted it versus $200. But anyway, um, hope that gives you guys some good ideas and thank you for watching.